Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video we are going to uh, discuss uh, building an Arduino um, headlight off timer with LCD display. Now what exactly is that? Well, it's that's exactly what it is. It's a it's a headlight timer that you push a button uh, and it turns the the, the headlights on um, uh, until for whatever uh, amount of seconds you set it to uh, in in software. Uh, in a, it allows you to reach your front door, uh, open the door, and, and and go in, and then it turns off the the headlights automatically. This is standard now in, in lots of vehicles, but the idea here is for older vehicles or even for your own car. A lot, a lot of, lots of times the headlights, it's managed by the, uh, um, the body control module. Body control mo module goes down, sometimes it's fine, the rest of it, but it's just that the headlights, is not, it doesn't work. And so this particular feature would actually over bypass that and it would allow you to uh, rather than buy a body control module for $400 uh, you can just implement this for under $20 uh, and, and, and that's it and be done. Other applications for this particular circuit are also uh, when you combine it we're not going to show that on this video but if you combine it if you combine this circuit with a uh, Wi-Fi uh, shield for the Arduino uh, then you can use your own app and be able to turn the lights on, on and off uh, from inside your house for, for whatever reason. I mean, who knows why you would do want to do that? Uh, but but it is it is possible to do it from from your own cell phone uh, through uh, through the internet, uh, you, having Wi-Fi, or even from somewhere else, anywhere else in the world, if you want to. Um, I could only think of one possible application would be if you're not home and you're traveling, uh, you can pretty much turn the lights on and off. Um, from wherever you are, anywhere in the world, and some, you know, people, your neighbors are going to think, well, there's somebody there, so uh, it's not an empty home. We'd also like to say that this particular uh, project is based on the Arduino Timer module video that we have on our channel, ADP Training, here on YouTube. Okay, so uh, basically, look it up on our on our channel, ADP Training, Arduino Timer module. Uh, and, and that particular uh, video discusses how to interconnect uh, the LCD screen display uh, so that you can use it with this particular project and many of the projects that you were going to be doing using an LCD screen. Here on screen you can see the uh, Arduino Mega 2560. Uh, this is one possible board that you can use. It's about uh, 12 to $15 today. Uh, they're going down you know pretty much every every couple of months they, they keep going down you can also use an Arduino Nano which is a smaller board uh, again these the Nanos are even cheaper than that uh, so depending on what you're gonna do uh, you can use either or we're also gonna need a 10k potentiometer here any anything from 5 to 50k will do uh, but a, the potentiometer uh, it's used for um, adjusting the contrast on the LCD screen on screen now, you as you can you can see the Arduino um, the way you interconnect the LCD screen to the Arduino and the potentiometer, and this is just for reference. It's covered in the, in the video that we mentioned before um, on the Arduino uh, simple counter timer. Uh, so th this is the way you basically connect the display to the Arduino, and then uh, for uh, later on, we're going to go into uh, the details on how to connect the uh, relay uh, the relay cards. Uh, on screen you can see a, a single relay card we are actually using a dual relay card it's, it's just the same deal it's just you have two relays you also have and there are a dime a dozen they're very inexpensive too an eight relay board card uh, these things are really inexpensive uh, again for under twenty dollars you'll be able to uh, build this project um, next you can see the LCD screen that we uh, that we're going to be using this is a standard uh, 16 by 2, in other words, 16 character, characters across and two lines of characters. Uh, and, and that's just the way uh, you reference, uh, uh, you refer to these uh, display, uh, LCD displays. They're very inexpensive. You could, 
for ten dollars you could probably pick a few of them uh they they prices fluctuate and they keep coming down so it doesn't you know whatever i say here it's it's not going to be valid a few months from now next is a diagram of the interconnection between the arduino and the relay card and the headlight uh, we are using uh, for reference uh, only sh we're only showing you one headlight uh, once you build one you can pretty much do whatever you want and you can uh, tweak the software and interconnect the rest of the relays and you can pretty much control how uh, as 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 many headlights as you as you want to now on screen uh, we can see that we control the headlight through one relay the on screen right now you can see the uh, the relay it's uh, th that's a normally that's a normal position so uh, i'm going to call it the normally not connected or not uh, non latched state for the relay uh, and this is pretty much uh, your ground is going to come from the headlight switch it depends sometimes you get a power feed from the headlight switch so it depends on the system that you have you're going to have to uh, think about this f depending on the system that you have so well, but the basic pr principle is that one side the feed from the headlight switch goes through the relay when it's not activated and it activates the headlight the other side of the headlight is connected to the 12 volt uh, feed uh, from, from the fuse box um, now if the system has a headlight switch that provides power then you're going to have to uh, the other side of the of the headlight is going to have going to be connected to ground, uh, obviously, you know. Uh, so, but anyhow, it doesn't really matter, you know. You you make up you you, you, you know study the system and then you you're going to you'll be able to rewire the system no problem. Uh, but the important thing to remember is that uh, with the relay not latched, uh, you have the headlight controls the the headlight switch controls the controls the headlight. As soon as you turn the Arduino. Uh, you, you push the button on the Arduino, it'll turn, uh, it'll latch the relay, as you can see on screen, uh, it'll feed ground through the other side. Remember, the headlight is going to be off. You got home, uh, you open the door, you push the button on your timer, uh, the headlight is going to turn on through the relay uh, using the Arduino as a timer. Uh, for however many seconds you program the system to, uh, and it allows you to reach your front door, open it, and go inside. And then it will turn off automatically. Uh, so again, uh, later on uh, in this next uh, diagram, we see the whole system uh, pretty much uh, interconnected. You can use this as a, as a reference uh, for, your, uh, for your project. Uh, and it's basically the same deal. Uh, we're using a separate Arduino uh, schematic uh, in green here. Uh, but this is pretty much... Um, I believe that we are using uh, pins number uh, 12 uh, for the push button and number 13 uh, for the uh, for the relay. Uh, so here on screen we can see a close-up of the uh, of the actual uh, Arduino board pins number 10 and 12. So 12 uh, we're going to use it for the button and that's how we have a program on the on the sketch, uh, which is the program that goes into the Arduino and number 10. Uh, is the is an output for the relay card that's the one that activates the relay card uh, the rest of the uh, of the pins are used for the LCD screen on the left hand side you see how the Arduino is connected to the LCD screen you see all the pinouts in there that only pertains to the LCD screen and the potentiometer and so on and so forth watch our, our other video uh, that relates to the uh, uh, to the Arduino timer so that it explains with very uh, detailed, it gives you a detailed explanation on how to connect the LCD screen to the Arduino. Next we're going to show you um, in, um, uh, in real life how this whole thing works. We are using an, uh, an LED, a small uh, blue LED as the headlight. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to have a big bul uh, bulky headlight to do the demo. Uh, besides the, the brightness will probably be a, a problem anyhow so uh, the, the LED uh, coming on and off actually coming on when you push the button and off when the timer expires and we set the timer in this particular uh, example to five seconds you can pretty much set it in software to all, as ever as whatever uh, many seconds you need uh, and that all depends on how far you are from your front door and and what you need so uh, do some uh, experimentation in there 
and once you have this thing set to your needs uh, then it's pretty much set uh, anytime you get to your front door just push that button when the vehicle is off you you already have your keys with you and all that and if you want uh, to give it a little bit more time so that uh, it gives you time for you to exit the car uh, go grab your keys put it in your pocket and lock the door whatever say you normally need uh, f uh, I don't know 20 seconds to reach your front door or uh, give it an extra 10 seconds or an extra 20 seconds or give it 40 seconds give it two minutes give it whatever whatever you need okay so this is uh, it's pretty much just a it's a straightforward timer for your headlights uh, by the way you can use this timer for whatever you want uh, in other videos we are going to uh, um, uh, going to uh, using something somewhat similar to control a bunch of different things like like um, a sprinkler system and uh, you name it so on and so forth uh, at the end of the video we you're go also going to see um, the sketch that we are using for this particular uh, project uh, you can copy the sketch from here we can post the sketch on the, the on the description for the video it doesn't YouTube doesn't let, let us do that uh, you can also email us if you want uh, if you want me to send you the the uh, sketch uh, your way just email me uh, at the email on the on the video and I'll be glad to send it your way or whatever uh, diagrams you want uh, again uh, we appreciate you tuning on to our YouTube channel ADP training uh, as usual um, subscribe if you can to our website too you get free stuff when you subscribe to our website and uh, so without uh, you know a a any more um, delays you know thank you for watching this channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians we present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques on hands video and how to tips and techniques we encourage you to subscribe to this channel now once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book. Kindle ebook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.